Uh, one of the things that I kind of took from the episode yesterday, we watched the, the first episode, is the idea about resistance. Um, and what do you think resistance means to Harriet Tubman? And if, if you agree that resistance is part of the show, Anthony, how do you direct to kind of make that more apparent to the audience? Harriet Tubman was was driven by a a, a spiritual compass that is one that is still um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around because she was someone who couldn't read and so she developed and 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 fed her faith um, and the depths of her faith without even being able to read a single word of the Bible. Um, with that said, she, before she even came into the world, she was already the property of another human being. All she knew in life was to be enslaved, but yet something in her let her know that there was more to life, though she didn't know any other thing. And But she knew enough to know from a spiritual place inside that she had a right to liberty. She had a right to something different than she had been grown up in her entire life, not knowing what that thing was, but she knew she wanted that thing. And, and, and as I learned and, and studied about her, I saw that there she had a resisting spirit as a child, as a child, if it just, if it wasn't something that, that sat well with her spirit, she completely resisted it. And she, and we talk about that in the second season. She talks about, you know, the different people that, you know, she went to work in their homes and, and you learn about the way that she became who she is, you know? And so by the age of 20 something, she was ready and, 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 and had the courage to take that spirit her step off of the plantation, the place that she had known her entire life, and find her way 600 miles north to freedom. You know, I think as a director, it's it's just first understanding <laughs> that and knowing that it's important and 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 um, necessary, especially at a time where we are now, to continue to I think show these examples and show them well, mm -hmm. um, great representations of them. And so it's for me being a cheerleader or the captain and or the coach and really getting there and understanding each player, each strength of each player and understanding how this team works together. We're a tribe and I'm only here to kind of help maneuver and use you and put you in the game, you know, when the time is right, you know? And so it's just a matter of being there and kind of helping steer the ship and, and wanting to do it at the same time. Mm -hmm.